going on guys slap here and today we're going to be taking a look at the 2014 rolls royce wraith wrath i still don't know how to pronounce this damn car man this is a tough damn car to pronounce help me out in the comment section below please somebody man but today though we're gonna be drifting this big beast um this thing is a tank 5300 pounds man this is like a great white shark all roll oh my you know what this thing is like this thing's like a megalodon how about that this thing's like a megalodon yeah i'd say it's like a damn megalodon three hundred thousand dollar price tag attached to this thing 624 horsepower coming off of the line now i cannot express as a manufacturer of rolls royce that they came out with a car with this much horsepower i honestly i am still in shock this is one of the fastest car or sorry not fastest but this is one of the most highest horsepower cars that has ever rolled off rolls royce's lot in terms of a manufacturer car now 590 foot pounds of torque it's needed to push this thing 5300 pounds 6.6 .6 liter v12 twin turbo this thing is going to be a beast now last build that we did was the mustang you know we kept it conservative we kept it as you know a kind of a contest drifting car a tandem car if you will and today we're going to be taking this and we're going to be just going banana sandwich with this thing we're going to be pretty much upgrading as much as we can on this car trying to get as much horsepower out of this as possible and then taking this thing out and uh, having some fun with it now there is no engine swaps there is no drivetrain swaps um, there is no aspiration swap or sorry there's drivetrain swaps but no aspiration swaps that's okay you know kind of expected uh, especially with you know this engine we really don't need anything else on here it's already a v12 6.6 liter you really don't need anything else on this car whatsoever now i'm thinking about just keeping the stock rims you really can't do much to a bent i mean uh like a tour rolls royce and really i mean if you do you're asking for trouble you really are i mean especially on a rolls royce you pay the 300 grand there's no need to change anything up now, 300 and, sorry, 335s on the rear, um, I think is going to be suffice for what we're doing today, especially with the amount of horsepower that I have planned on this. I don't know what this is actually going to cap out at. I'm going to say at least over 1,000 horsepower, especially with these twin turbos fully upgraded. Um, I really don't see any other issue. I'm, obviously, I mean, if you look at this car right now, what we're doing, you would say that this is a track car for sure. Uh, but it's funny because, I mean, this... This car is really not meant for the track. This is kind of an occasional driving car. And, um, you know, anybody who's buying this thing is going to be one lucky guy or lady. But um, I would I would love to own one of these. It would be absolutely a blast to drive. But at the same time, though, you'd be so worried because this thing's probably worth more than your damn house. But, you know, if you're driving this thing, you probably got, you got pocket change to spare. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, you really don't need to worry about too much. But I would I would love to be able to call up an insurance company and be like, hey, uh, you know, I'm 23 years old, uh, looking for a 2014 Rolls Royce Wraith. I was wondering if I can uh, get an insurance quote. Probably just hear a click. <laughs> it, would, it would be brutal. I'm just going to say that right now. But it would be a lot of fun having that phone call. 715 horsepower with these race twin turbos. We're going to go race intercooler as well, too. As I said, we're going to just completely race this thing out. And uh, this should give us enough power necessary to really pull off some crazy things. And, uh, you know, very, very high horsepower Rolls Royce for sure. And, I mean, I really wish that we could have a full lobby of these things going. You know, that would be something incredible. A full lobby is absolutely dope to be in and if you guys have never been in you know a full lobby of the same car it's it's pretty crazy i mean i'm probably gonna start doing that it'll be kind of like a one make race open lobby or i mean like a one make drift open lobby and i think that'd be really cool to start doing um i may actually start doing that very soon so definitely keep a lock on my twitter um on my instagram i'll post when i'm doing it uh and i'll i'll do it the next day just so you guys can have a chance you know get your cars ready be prepared for that day so just keep a lock on my twitter my instagram my facebook whatever you guys are you know on my social media and i think that would be very cool i would like to do the first one of a rolls royce lobby so make sure you guys have a look at that and um i think we've already done everything necessary for this car if i'm not mistaken i think we have 923 horsepower 784 foot pounds of torque Still weighing 5,300 pounds. That's not right, is it? I thought we did weight reduction on this thing. Um, oops. Suspension. 
Okay, there we go. 4,100 pounds, turns into an S-Class. Uh, it's a big baby, you know what I'm saying? It's still a big baby, what it is. Now, I mean, we could drop it to, you know what, let's keep this in the A-Class range, just so when we go into public lobbies or, you know, anything for that matter, we're not going to get too many dirty looks for driving this thing. And that is going to be about it. Now, we're going to do the tune on the track. So, guys, I will see you guys there. All right, guys, so here we are on Prague section right now, and beautiful Rolls Royce Wrath, Wraith, as I said, however you want to pronounce this damn thing. And um, we're going to be doing this section right here. We're going to do a dry run with it, make sure that the car is at least okay. Um, you know, like anytime you have a new car, you always want to give it a dry test run just to kind of see where you need to start off from. You always need a base before you actually go and tune your car to see what you really need to tune. A lot of people just go ahead and, you know, tune their car and that's fine. You know, some some people do that. I also do that myself, but for this video's sake, we're gonna drive it bone stock first time, see how she slides, four thousand pounds, nine hundred horsepower. Oh my god, gentlemen, you guys ready? Let's get it. Now, this car is very, very quiet. I was not expecting this. I really expected this V12 to be absolutely screaming. But um, she sounds good. It's nice and quiet. It's decent. Coming through this right now, and it's looking good, man. It's very solid. Looks like very slight changes to the roll bars. Um, obviously, a little bit of camber. And look at that power. Digging in. Fourth gear. No problem at all with this torque. And this thing feels phenomenal on its own. Um, wow. I wish I could just call it a damn episode right now. But... We are going to try and make this even that much quicker and that much better in the corners. But it held up, man. That was actually really nice. I was not expecting that at all. Uh, so here we go. Speed, I think the gears are perfect. There's no need to change a damn thing in the gearing. Camber seems spot on as well, too. I don't see any issues in terms of camber. We are going to move the toe out a little bit, try to get a little bit more angle out of this, as well as the caster. Roll bars, they seem to be good. Um, we're going to maybe stiffen them up just ever so slightly, as well as the springs. We got a lot of weight on this thing. We, we, we don't want it to be too stiff where the car just starts, you know, like bouncing around. But um, I feel like this is going to be really good for the car at least. Just, you know, very slight touches to the car. Just fine tuning essentially. You know what I'm saying? The differential lock. Let's get it, man. There we go. 100 and 100. I'm feeling like we got a perfect car on our hands. Let's, let's hope for the best at least. Let this baby go, man. $300,000 drift machine. Woo! Only Forza Motorsport you can do this. Get it! Pylon Hunter! Yeah, baby! This thing is so smooth on these scores, you can't even imagine. I was not expecting this to be that smooth, to be honest with you. I really wasn't. There we go. Can we get the last one, though? We got the wall, though car feels phenomenal. It really does. Um, what I am thinking, though, for this fourth gear at least, is I'm going to give the car just a little bit more rear camber for that rear end to just kind of slip out. I'm feeling like it's, you know, it's not locking up, but it's just, it's slowly kind of gaining traction, which is good. You want that. But for this, though, the cord beats getting caught in my damn glove, man. What the hell is that? Here we go. We're going to initiate right about here. Bring it around. Ooh. Pull it a 90. Come on, baby. There we go. Bring her back. Bring her back. Look at how graceful this Rolls Royce looks when it's drifting. Just peaceful. You know what I'm saying? Let's have a quick look in the cockpit. Shit. Wall tap. It's all good, though. That'll buff out, hopefully. Now, the cockpit just seems very, very quiet as well, too. I mean, the V12 is just isolated in that engine bay, and you can't even hear a damn thing, man. I mean, you can, but not to the extent as you would think. You hear that twin turbo? Oh, clipped it! Shit! And that's how you uh, damage a $300,000 car right there. Appreciate it. Look at that. Fun grill, man. That thing's probably worth 
more than like 20 grand. Hopefully not, but. Woo! We got that pile on, man. I needed it. I did the collection, you know what I'm saying? So, realistically, though, this car just feels perfect. And I'm going to do one lap with this thing here. Jeez, yes, man. Wall tops for days right now. Let's get it. Fifth gear running up this hill. No! Oh! Alright, okay, okay. A little bit of damage, nothing crazy. I'm going to do this little downhill section, but we've made a perfect damn car right now. Ooh! Yeah, baby! Coming down. Fifth gear kicking in. Look at this. Still sideways right now. Unbelievable. Oh, we got some height. Here we go. This is an absolute machine right now, man. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Save her. Oh, Jesus. All right. I'm going to stop right there before we cause any more damage to this beautiful beast. But... We have made it. The two will be found on my storefront. Just search my gamer tag or hashtag slap in the description for it. 2014 Rolls Royce Wraith. Beautiful car. I cannot believe what we were able to do with such a heavy car. And I'm really shocked at how this turned out. I was not expecting it at all. So this is a surprising video for myself and hopefully for you guys as well too. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, slap that like button guys. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for the wall taps of the nation. I'm out. Peace.